today. I'm glad to see you guys again this week. And then I hope you guys happy, healthy, and ready to learn with me, okay? So let's let me share the material that we are going to learn today. All right. So today we are still continuing the lesson of chapter nine, talking about future events. Okay. Uh, kita akan membahas tentang bagaimana kita mengekspresikan uh, uh, tentang hal-hal atau um, kegiatan yang uh, yang terjadi di masa depan entah itu dalam waktu dekat dalam waktu uh, seperti dalam sehari seminggu kemudian setahun, lebih dari setahun, atau dalam uh, waktu yang lebih lama lagi yang berupa prediksi. Oke. Okay. Alright, so now uh, conversation A, talking about the schedule events. Oke. Okay. We'll do the uh, role play for Raj. Oke, okay. so conversation A, we have two people raj and ines okay i'm going to have a uh, brandon brandon is going to do raj one two three like raj number one two three and then lily is going to be ines dialogue number one and two all right so let's do this first okay Good evening, Miss. Me unmute Brandon and Lily. Good evening, Brandon. How are you today? I'm fine, Miss. All right, and then Lily. Okay, great. All right, you guys can start whenever you're ready. What time does the movie start? It starts at 7.30 and ends at 9.45. Good. We can go on the bus and get back home before it to dusk. Is there a bus stop near your house? Yes. It stops on the corner every 15 minutes. Perfect. I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. All right. Uh, just for uh, Brandon, Raj, dialect number two, I heard you say like this. Okay, right here for this one. And get back home before it's too dark. There is no S. I, I kind of heard that you said before it's too dark. Okay. So it's before dark, it's dark. Too dark. Ah, okay. Yes, it's not a noun. Okay. So it's dark. Okay. Other than that, you guys are doing great on the conversation and also on the pronunciation. I mean, on the pronunciation and also on the intonation. Excellent. Thank okay. Thank you, Thank you, guys. All right. Now we continue with um, conversation B. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. Conversation B. All right. Conversation B is talking about plans for the very near future. All right. Very near future is like less than a year. All right. Probably in a, in a week or in a month. Okay, so we have Jenny and Paula. We have Jenny and Paula. So I'm going to have uh, three people doing this. Okay, let's do it. Let me see. Let me see. One, two. I guess, I guess more than three. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I have um, Jenny dialogue number one and two for. Amin, okay. Jenny one and two, all right, for Amin. And then Jenny three and four for Angelina. Jenny five and six for Kibar. And then I have Paula number one and two for 
Al Haj, and then Pola three four for Linda, and Pola five six. All right, anybody? Let me see. All right, five and six, Pola. I guess I'm going back to Lily, all right? Okay, please remember the dialogue, okay? I'm going to unmute you guys right now. And please no back sound, okay? No background sound, so you guys can focus more, all right? Unmute you. Okay, good evening, Miss. Good evening, Good evening, how are you? Layu Angelina Kibah. All right, excellent. Al Haj and Linda. Right. Good evening, Good evening, Miss Susan. Good evening. Who is that? It sounds like this, me, huh? Linda. Okay. Linda. Oh, okay, Linda. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, let me see. All right, everybody already unmuted. You can start whenever you're ready. 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 Okay. Go ahead. What are you doing tomorrow? I am going to the beach with my family for a week. We are leaving early at 6 a.m. Oh, nice. So I guess you planning to go to bed early tonight yeah i'm gonna pack my bag and try to hit the, and try to hit the stack by nine o'clock okay Jenny. Jenny, three and four i believe Okay, who, who got Jenny three and four? Okay, Angelina. Okay, there you go. Good luck with that. What are you talking? Uh, what are you taking? I always pack light for the beach. A batting shirt, a couple of, of pairs of shirt, of shorts, some t-shirts, a hat, and lots of sunscreen. How about you? What are you doing next week? Who's that? I'm going to stay home and catch up on some unfinished projects. Like what? Oh, I have a long list. First, I'm going to clean up my office, file, write letter, and take care of bunch of paperwork. Then I'm going to re redecorate my bedroom, find the walls, and get new curtains. Wow. What color are you going to paint it? It's a very black. It's a very light blue. I've already picked it out and bought the paint. Cool. All right. All right, guys. Let me uh, give a little. Um, let's review together. All right. Okay. Uh, right here. All. Pola uh, dialogue, uh, Pola's dialogue number one. Okay, that's uh, right here. We have a con con construction of we are, okay? But we, we know, we just keep in our mind that here is a contra construction of uh, we are. But when it's written like this, we don't read as we are leaving early no okay we are going to read like that we're leaving early but we understand that this is this is a construction of a uh, uh we are okay so we read as it's written all right 
And then let's see. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right, and then next is um let's All right, right here, Jenny's dialogue number five. Okay, it, uh, write letters. It's double T, it's letters, and later is totally different. Okay, so here we have uh, uh, plurals of letter. So write letters and take care of a bunch of a bunch of paperwork. Okay, this is letters. Okay, and then other than that, you guys are doing excellent. Okay, two thumbs up for you guys, right? Next, let's continue with conversation C, talking about long-term plans, okay? More than a year, okay? Plans more than a year. All right. Let's so uh, in this conversation we have Emma and Kim. Emma and Kim. All right. I'll have Emma's dialogue number one and number two for Jennifer. And then Kim number one and number two for Brandon. Emma three and four for Lilia. Kim three and four. Okay, anybody? Kim three and four. All right. Let me see. I'm going to have Mr. Amin do Kim three and four. Okay. Unmute this. Okay, me. Okay, give me one second. I'll go with Jennifer. Okay. And then, and. Lydia. Yes, please. All right. All right. Whenever you're ready. 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 What do you think you'll do when you finish college? Oh, I'll probably stay in the city and look for work here. Then I go back home on holiday. I love that idea, but yeah, I'll, probably, I'll probably go closer to home, closer to home to get a job. I like being... Being... Uh, well, I like... maybe you could find a job in the... Okay, okay, ma'am. Uh, Miss, sorry, ma'am. I love the, the I love that idea, but but I probably go closer to home to get a job. I like being close to my family and old friends. Still, life life in a big city is certainly tempting. Well, maybe you could find a job in a big city closer to home. Yeah, that would be a good happy idea. On the other hand, since your like to travel, you could possibly get a job in another country, something exotic. You're right. I might get very bored just doing the same old thing. I learned a lot of Farsi, even pick up another language. It's definitely something to think about. Well, I guess we don't have to decide now since we still in our freshman year right all right perfect okay let me read okay give me a second okay let me review okay guys okay just right here okay emma's dialect number two still 
Life in the big city is certainly, certainly tempting. Okay, uh, who's doing number? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I believe it was Jennifer. Okay, let me try. Jennifer, yes, did you yeah. do a number two? Okay, still, life in the big city is certainly tempting. Exactly, okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. And then, um, give me one second. Emma's dialect number four. Okay, I believe it was Lilia. Let me try. Lilia, did you do dialects number four for Emma? Yes, please. Oh, all right. Okay, right here. Okay, I. This is an construction of I would, I would, but and then we read as I learn, I'd learn a lot overseas, I'd learn a lot of overseas, okay? This, okay? Would you like to try? I, yes, yes. I, I, I I'd learn, learn I'd, I'd learn, I'd learn, yes. I'd learn a lot of verses. Yes, okay. That's how we uh, read this. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And then, <coughs> excuse me. Other than that, you're doing, you guys doing perfectly. All right. Let's continue with the conversation D. It's talking about prediction for the more distant future. Okay, jadi ini uh, berupa prediksi ya. It's not a plan, it's a prediction instead. All right, for more distant future. Okay, all right, right here. I divided into uh, four. All right. Uh, sorry, uh, three. Okay. So I'm going to have. Okay. Uh, we have number numbers uh, in red, blue, and uh, red, blue, green, and black. Okay, four. So I'm going to need uh, four volunteers to do this. Okay. So I'll have a uh, Riris do teachers. All the, the dialogue in red, okay? The dialogue in red numbers, okay? Teachers, Julie and Hatter for Riris. Okay. And then I'll have Angelina is doing all the dialogue in blue numbers. That is going to be Andy, Stacy, and Courtney. Okay, and then I'll have Kibar do all the dialogues in green numbers. There are Emily, Joe, and Andy. Okay, and last one is the dialogue in black colors. Okay, I'll have Al, Al Hajj doing Holly and Zach. Okay. Let me unmute you guys. Okay, okay, So we are re for all the red dialogue. Okay, re okay. red. And then I'll have uh, ND, I mean, blue for Angelina. And then green for kibar. And then I'll hatch for black dialogue. Okay, Miss. One second. All right. You guys can start whenever you're ready. Okay. What will the world be like 50 years from now? Just think, people will be living on Mars. All bad cars will be replaced by little helicopters. So, 
you are able to fly ahead in the traffic? There won't be any more war. Women will make more money than men. No way. Women will stay home and the men will do all the work. There will be a better form of government. People will have forgotten how to talk and will only communicate electronically. There won't be any disease. And people will live to be 150 years old. That will be horrible. It will be so crowded. That's why people will be living on Mars. All right. Excellent. All right. So let me check a little quick. Okay, pronunciation are excellent. Just miss a little bit. Okay. Okay, Courtney, Courtney, okay, Courtney. That will be horrible. Okay, horrible. I believe it's Angelina. Angelina. Yes, Did you know Courtney? Yes. Okay. So that that will be horrible. Let's try. That will be horrible. There you go. Okay, perfect. That will be horrible. Uh -uh. Horrible. Horrible. Uh -huh. Okay, so this I here, we don't read as horrible. It's horrible. Okay, no as I, it's a, like more like in a uh, and in between a and e it will be horrible all right okay perfect well done guys let's continue with the exercise for this chapter okay let me open my book first so last week We did exercise 9.3 already done, okay? It's done. So, okay. Also, we actually did this exercise 9.4, okay? And then we did it, we answer until uh, number eight, okay? But since this chapter, we only have two exercises left, okay, 9.4 and 9.5. And then um, last week, um, you guys still kind of confused how to do this, okay, fill in the blank for exercise 9.4 with all the idioms that we learned in this chapter. So I decided uh, to give a try again, okay. So you guys can try again and then let's see if you guys understand what we learned already. You know, when we already answer all this until uh, from number one to eight. Okay. Hope you guys can remember. Okay. So let's do this again. Okay. So we're doing, uh, we'll, we're going to redo the exercise 9.4 and continue with 9.5 today. Okay, so number one, there aren't very many jobs available, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to keep looking. Okay. Let's see. All right, I'm going to have Lily try to answer number one. Okay, Miss. All right. There aren't very, very many jobs available. Still, I'm going to keep looking. All right, perfect. So here's there is um 
still here. One second. Write the answer. So there is a situation here that is not not actually uh, supported, but you're still doing it. Okay. Uh, jadi dalam bahasa Indonesia kita bisa terjemahkan seperti terjemahkan seperti ini mungkin ya. Uh, tidak ada banyak uh, lowongan kerja saat ini yang tersedia. Namun saya tetap akan usaha mencari. Oke, okay. jadi itu ada dua situasi ya. Jadi ada dua situasi yang uh, sebenarnya itu tidak mungkin, tapi tetap ada suatu uh, uh, suatu tindakan yang dilakukan untuk uh, mencarinya. Uh, seperti contohnya ya kalau uh, like, uh, uh, I'm not hungry, still I'm cooking, okay, like that. Alright, so that's still. Okay, perfect. You still remember that? Excellent. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. All right. Number two. He's 75, so he gets a blah, blah, blah discount. All right. 75 here, talking about age. All right. Um, sometimes when, you, uh, when you're talking about age, you don't need to uh, say the years old. Okay. You can just say the number. Okay. All right. Let's have uh, Angelina try number two. He's seventy-five, so he gets a number of discount. A number, you say? Number of discount. Did you? A number of discount. Okay. So yeah, uh, you can say uh, a number of discount. Yes, that's let's say like uh, a lot of discount okay but in this chapter uh, we don't learn that uh, that that kind of uh, idioms okay you know from the let me quote this okay so 75 so uh, dia berumur 75 tahun jadi dia mendapatkan bla 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 discount okay uh, berapa uh, okay so in this chapter we don't learn any that word okay let me pull this really quick one second all right there you go Okay, check it this out, guys. Okay, senior citizen can also refer to a person who is 60 years old or more. Okay, so actually, uh, when you're already 60 years older, 60 years or older, you'll get the senior discount. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, that's the, the answer actually that's the answer that uh, it's required uh, it, it, uh, so that is the answer the appropriate answer for this okay okay so he's 75 so he gets a senior discount okay not like a, a like a a net verb or like that, an adjective to complete this discount, but it's uh, the, the word discount, but they, uh, it wants a specific, what kind of discount like that. There is a student discount, okay, also senior discount, okay. Uh, that's a different kind of discount there, yeah. uh, overseas, okay. Not in our country, okay. So this is, is a senior discount, okay. So, we're doing number three. We're so bored. It seems like every day we do blah, blah, blah. Okay. Kami sangat bosan. 
Sepertinya setiap hari kita melakukan bla bla bla. What you do every day that make you bored. Oke. Okay. All right, let me see who still remember this. Oke. Okay. going to have kibar do number 3. We're so bored. It seems like it seems like every day we do birthing. We do what? Can you I'm sorry, can you repeat again? Breathing. Breathing. It seems like every day we do breathing. Can you spell it for me? B R E A T H I N G. B R A I D T T T Can you just write on the chat so let me <laughs> Okay Okay what do you uh, what... Yes Breathing oh okay breathing okay Oh my God, are you bored of breathing? <laughs> Don't, be... if you're bored of breathing, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh my God. Don't, okay, okay, it's bored here like, membosankan, sesuatu yang kita tidak suka, yang, yang not exciting about it, okay? But not about breathing, okay? When you, 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 you kalau kita bosan bernapas, <laughs> kan mati deh, gitu. Gitu, okay. So it's not like breathing, okay? Okay. No, okay. In this chapter, we have this. Let me pull this, okay? Seriously, don't get bored of breathing, okay, guys? And Mr. Kibar also, okay? We have to be grateful we're breathing, okay? Because once we are we we don't breathe, then we die. Makes sense, right? Okay, let me pull this. Okay. All right, there you go. One or three. All right. So, usually when we get bored, it's because we always do the same thing over and over and over. Today we wake up, we go to office, we do the same job. Okay, the same administration, meeting the same people, get off the work at the same time, go home, sleep. The next day we do the same thing again. Okay, that's called routine. Okay, we do the same routine day after day after day. Okay, so there is no excitement in there. Okay, that's what most of the people get bored doing routine. All right. Okay, so that routine, okay, this doing the same old routine has an idiom, okay. Ada istilah khusus untuk uh, suatu kebosanan yang karena ini karena rutinitas yang sama, okay. That is the same old thing, okay. It's a way to indicate the activities or routine, okay. What are you up to? What are you up to to these days? Oh, you know, the same old thing, working, taking care of the kids, going to school at night, okay? So that's how you express, okay? Usually bored when doing the same old thing. All right, let's go back to our exercise. So, Mr. Kibar. Mr. Kibar, so our answer here is we do the same old thing, okay? Same old thing. Yes, okay. 
same routine day after day there is nothing uh change like that okay so of course don't you feel uh bored if you're doing the same thing every day uh, I feel do you yes but please don't feel bored of breathing okay <laughs> okay okay yes. grateful okay we we're supposed to be grateful for be able to um you know to breathe at the second right yeah miss is it the same okay. uh, when we do the daily activity the same old thing yes uh yes daily activities that is the routine okay like okay like uh as a mother okay as a mother doing the same thing okay taking care of the kids okay cooking and then taking to school okay that's the same old thing okay so today is doing that and then the next day doing the same thing and the third day they doing the same thing following week doing the same thing also and the following month also the same thing okay so you know a human is gonna feel like uh exhausted because there is no there is no challenge there correct if you're doing the same thing you oh i i already know how to do that okay maybe in the office you are doing the administration okay let's do do the accounting okay okay today doing the account uh bookkeeping today and the next day doing the auditing and then the following day doing something okay the same thing okay Well, same thing. That's a routine, okay? A routine. Jadi suatu rutinitas ya, begitu. Rutinitasnya itu um, tidak ada, tidak ada apa perubahan gitu loh ya. Jadi daily activities, yes, yes, daily activities like that, okay? All right. Any question? No. All right. Let's move on to number four. Maybe I got a job, blah, blah, blah. I could pick up another language. Okay. All right, then I will do number four. Okay, Mr. Kibar already. Papa. I'm going to have please. Lilis, Lili, I mean, sorry, Riris. Okay, Riris, do number four. Okay, Miss. Number four. Let's try. Maybe if I got a job, still I could pick up. Another language. Hmm. Okay. In this, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. When you pick up another language, okay, a new language, okay, you pick up, okay. Jadi, uh, kita makan dulu ya. Mungkin bila saya mendapatkan pekerjaan, bla bla bla, saya bisa mempelajari uh, uh, bahasa 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 asing, oke? Okay? Mungkin bila saya bekerja, bla bla, mendapatkan pekerjaan, bla bla bla, saya bisa belajar bahasa asing, oke? Okay? Uh, oke, okay. what do you think? You 
Do you think the answer is still like that if we translate to Indonesia? Apa cocok kira-kira ya kalau pakai kata still ya, Riris? Uh, make sense. Dapat mungkin bis mungkin jika saya mendapat pekerjaan. Ya, bla bla bla. Saya bisa belajar bahasa asing. Oke, okay. oke. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what is it? On the other hand. Uh, Hmm. Okay, the, we, right here we don't learn about all those uh, kata sambung ya, penyambung all that, okay? We're learning about uh, idiom, so okay? Right here, okay, let me pull this really quick. Uh, okay, the answer is actually overseas, okay? Mungkin bila saya mendapatkan pekerjaan di luar negeri, saya bisa belajar bahasa asing. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I know. Okay, so that's why we gotta we gotta understand the uh, the idioms, all those the words after the conversation. You know, that's gonna all the answer is there. All right. So overseas, overseas automatically we're gonna pick up another language. Okay, just because we we surrounded by uh the. The, per, the people that they're speaking their own language and then we're going there, of course, we're gonna automatically being forced to pick up the language. All right? Okay, remember that it is. Okay. Yes, miss. Thank you. All right, let's do number five. There will be blah, blah, blah new students next year. There will be blah 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 new students next year. All right. I'll have Lilia. Okay, Miss Number Five. There, yes, will be, there will be a bunch of new students next year. Excellent. All right. Finally, somebody remember. Okay. A bunch of new students next year. Okay. Thank you very much. Lilia. All right, number six. I heard the blah 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 class is going to be the biggest one ever. All right. Okay, talking about class, we have remember we have the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. All right. Okay. Brandon was attending this class last week. You should know the answer. Okay. Yeah. Al Hajj. Okay. Let's have Al Hajj do this. Okay. Al Hajj, I'm going to unmute you if you want to try to answer number six. Okay. okay. All right. Number six. Like I heard. Okay, uh -huh. sorry. Go ahead. I heard the. I heard the new class is going to the, be the biggest one ever. No. Oh, okay. Yes, we can use that. Okay, the new class. Okay. Yes, we can use that. But okay, in this chapter, we learn all these classes. Okay. One second. The new class means yes. The new class is the 
the same like this. The new class is called freshman year, freshman class, okay? So look at this, we have students in the first year of high school or college, okay? So new class, new class means freshman year, okay? Freshman class, okay? So they are the new class because uh they're during the uh, high school or college okay so that new class is more specific to a freshman year freshman class okay 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 man. so let me see all right so a uh, hatch yes so that new class is more be the more specific is uh, okay all right, thank you. Now we have number seven, okay? You have a lot of airport changes on the street. You really should, okay? Kamu akan transit di banyak uh, airport ya, jadi sebaiknya kamu bla bla bla. Okay. I'm going to have Lily try again. Anybody else? Hey Miss, you have a lot of airport changes okay. on this trip. You really should pack like changes. Excellent. Yes. All right, perfect. You should really pack light, okay? Jadi kamu akan uh, akan banyak uh, banyak uh, bandara ya. Jadi sebaiknya kamu uh, bawa barang yang uh, what do you call it? pack light is uh, uh, bawa barang sedikit begitu ya kira-kira ya. Oke, okay. okay, thank you. Okay, number eight, system. Okay. Sustain at home tonight to blah blah blah. Some reading. Dia akan tinggal di rumah malam ini untuk blah untuk blah blah blah. Bacaan. Beberapa bacaan. Let's have okay number eight. Yes, number eight, we did it already, okay? We answered that last week already. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have... Lilia? Yes, miss. No more eight. He's staying at home. Would you like to try number eight? Yes. Yeah. Yes, miss. She's staying at home tonight to catch up on some reading. All um, right, perfect. To catch up on some reading. Yeah. Give me one second. It's uh, on. Okay. So, saying that uh, translated into dia akan tinggal di rumah malam ini untuk menyelesaikan beberapa bacaan. Oke, okay, perfect. Thank you, Lilia. Oke, okay, jadi dia sebenarnya catch up dalam bahasa uh, di cerita ini berarti dia sudah membaca tapi belum selesai. Oke, okay? menyelesaikan beberapa bacaan. Oke, okay. oke. Okay, now, let's do number nine. I tried to pay for the dinner, but he insisted on blah 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 it. Saya uh, mau membayar, saya berusaha untuk membayar uh, makan malam ini, tapi dia memaksa untuk blah blah blah. Oke. Okay. 
Let's have Kibar. Mr. Kibar, try this. Okay, I tried to pay for the dinner, but he instead of overhand me. He insisted on overhand. It overhand hand hand overhand. Can you tr tr uh, translate it in Indonesia for me? Overhand is? Uh, membantu. Overhand. Hmm. Oh, okay. Jadi, uh, yang membayar di sini ceritanya siapa nih? Uh, yeah. I or he? Uh, he. He, okay. Okay, ya. Yeah, jadi, dia dia yang membayar ya. Si, uh, he is gonna, he's the one who's gonna pay. So now in uh, English, then we're gonna say no overhand. Okay, overhand. I, I never, actually, I never heard that word. Okay, I haven't heard that word. Maybe if there is that word, but I haven't heard that word till now. Okay, I tried to pay for the dinner, but he insisted on if he's the one who's gonna pay. Okay. Taking care, Taking care of it. Okay, jadi dia, ah, okay, that's, yeah, he's the one who's gonna pay. Okay, saya berusaha untuk membayar makan malam ini, tapi dia memaksa untuk membayarnya. Dia yang membayarnya. Okay, then you say, he's taking care of it. Okay, jadi dia yang menyelesaikan semua itu. Jadi, uh, kalau dia yang membantu, uh, uh, jadi kalau dalam, uh, kalau dalam bahasa Indonesia, dia yang membayarnya. Taking care of everything, okay. All right, that's how we uh, say it. Okay, so he 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 insisted on taking care of it. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kibar. Okay, number ten. Oh yeah. Can you give us typo here? Taking care of it. Okay. Now number ten. He wants an apartment. And she wants a house. They could blah 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 by buying a townhome, townhouse. Okay. Dia mau mau apartemen. Okay. Namun, okay. Dia di sini, okay. Dia laki-laki mau apartemen. Okay. Dan dia perempuan mau rumah, menginginkan rumah. Mereka dapat bla 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 dengan membeli townhouse. Oke, okay. oke, okay, townhouse is the size is going to be uh, in between apartment and, and, and a house. Oke, okay. all right. Mereka dapat bla 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 by buying a townhouse dengan membeli townhouse. Oke, okay. let's have Jennifer try this. Alright. He wants a apartment and she wants a house. They could be happy medium by buying a townhouse. Okay, there you go. Okay. They could be happy medium. Okay. Let me pull that so others can understand. They could rich okay happy medium is a uh a noun okay happy medium okay that's a noun so we because this is a quote here there is a quote here so we have to have the fur okay they could reach okay reach a happy medium by buying a townhouse okay let me pull that first All right, right here, guys. Okay, just as say, uh, Jennifer say, okay, to reach a happy medium, okay, a happy medium. It's so obvious this is a, a noun, all right, means to agree by accepting some parts of an one argument and some parts of the opposing argument, all right. Okay, a verb with the same meaning is to compromise, all right. So instead of us, uh, 
using reach a happy medium, we can use compromise to compromise. All right. So that's the has the same meaning. Okay. Let's go back. One mistake. So we can either use that we could read, they could, I'm sorry, they could reach a happy medium by buying a townhouse or we can use also, uh, they could compromise, compromise. Oke, okay, dalam bahasa Indonesia, let's say. Oke, okay, mereka dapat uh, mencapai suatu persetujuan ya. Persetujuan yang menyenangkan atau berkompromi dengan membeli uh, town dengan membeli townhouse. Alright, perfect. Thank you, Jennifer. Oke, okay, guys. Oke, okay, actually this is pretty easy. Oke, okay? oke. Okay. If... Oke. Okay. If you guys uh, review the explanation after the conversation, okay? The um, what do you call uh, the there is a pay, there are some pages there as a how to uh, improving the conversation, okay? That that is going to uh, explain all those words that we learn okay on the conversation and that uh, you guys gonna learn the new and the new idioms okay these idioms okay okay like all this we have this uh uh all these words written in bold okay those are all the One is going to be explain improving your conversation is going to explain all those words that's written. Uh, those uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's uh, written in bold. All right, look at Albert going to. Okay, so all the answers are coming from here. Okay. Well. So we're done with 9.5. I'm sorry, 9.4. Okay, guys. So please, you guys uh, review again. Okay, these words, the idioms. Okay, uh, jadi seperti kata sinonim begitu, seperti kata kata. What do you call in Indonesia? Ah? Seperti kata seharian begitu ya. Jadi. Uh, bukan bukan kata jadi seperti uh, persamaan sinonim begitu yang bisa digunakan sehari-hari oke okay? like uh, the same old things oke okay? pack light oke okay? all that oke okay? we can use it on the daily life oke okay? so when you just you when you just say these idioms oke okay, uh, people will understand already oke okay? oke okay, let's say Yeah, the very very easy one okay um uh if there's a question to uh, somebody's asking you um how how have you been oh the same old things you answer like that the the one who asked you is gonna understand okay oh oh she said the same old things okay they're gonna understand the meaning okay you don't have to explain okay i do the same uh, same thing okay routine going to school blah 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 okay you don't think okay just say the idioms people already understand the meaning okay that is the the i believe it's like slangs like that huh, in indonesia i have no idea what it is okay but it's like that okay all that's easy explain just reread okay review that way you guys can uh Remember and then use these words, okay, guys. So um, unfortunately, we uh, we can just do this uh, one exercise. So we'll continue with the uh, exercise 9.5 to uh, next week, okay, guys. So okay, same thing here, okay. Uh, 9.5. We're gonna have to make 
a statement to the response that's already stated okay so please uh, spare a little time your time to answer this okay the way you i mean not not answer maybe just read the previous uh, previous pages that way you understand what it's, it is about i'll take care of it okay what does it mean i could pick up a little arabic okay what it means okay okay guys uh it's already eight okay uh i guess i'll finish the class today okay and then thank you for joining my class today hope you guys can understand okay thank you miss okay thank you very much i'll see you guys thank next you. week Susan, could you share the pdf Oh, the PDF, you can ask uh, uh, Mr. Tony, okay? Oh, Mr. Tony. Okay. He'll send it to you. Okay. Oh, okay, I will test him. Thank you. Send the uh, chat him and then maybe Thank you're in you. the group. Okay. He'll send it to you, okay? Okay. All right? Okay, Miss. Okay, Miss. Okay. Thank you, guys. Good night. Thank, Thank you. Have a nice week. Okay, guys? Okay, see you next Bye, guys. Okay.